everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we're going to use some of our homemade yeasted pumpkin bread and we're going to make delicious pumpkin french toast. Perfect for a fall morning breakfast. We'll go over the ingredients first and then we'll start putting this really simple breakfast together. Um, obviously I have a loaf of my yeasted pumpkin bread but you don't have to use that kind of bread you can use whatever bread you have on hand you can use your regular sandwich bread or you can use pumpernickel or you can use whatever you have that you enjoy I don't think it's gonna be good with rye bread but you know what I'm saying a nice plain neutral bread this is pumpkin bread so that's what we're gonna use I have four eggs a cup of half and half which is really a cup of milk, a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of heavy cream that I mix together. A cup of pureed pumpkin, not pumpkin pie mix, but pureed pumpkin. I have two tablespoons of brown sugar and a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So we'll just go ahead and we'll break these eggs. I like to do my, um, my French toast custard inside of a pie plate because I feel like it's easy to put the slices in there and it uh, doesn't have a rounded bottom or anything so here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my pumpkin we're gonna add our, our sugar in there I know well, I told, I told, told you I was gonna do that add in your salt and your pumpkin pie spice and give this a good mix you can also do this in your blender and then you can get a nice cohesive blend Okay, now when you get that well mixed so it looks pretty even and smooth, go ahead and add your milk in and kind of stir it at the same time. In fact, I think I am going to get a whisk because I think it'll be easier for me to deal with. Thunk. You all do it. You know it. That's better. All right, there you have it. Your pumpkin custard is all mixed up and ready to go. Now we're gonna move this whole operation over to the stove and I'll meet you over there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking our pumpkin French toast. And what I've done is I've put about a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil in the bottom of my pan. And I have dipped a couple of slices of this bread in our custard. And because my bread is a little bit on the it's not very tall. Um, I can probably fit four slices at a time in my pan. And go ahead and just dip your bread and get it in there. Oh, it smells fantastic. And then we're going to check it in just a second here. Hey, I totally forgot to bring you back for the flip. And I'm sorry for that, but if you've made French toast before, you know what to look for. You want to make sure it's nice and brown on the bottom side before you flip it over all the way. And usually when I cook French toast, especially in my cast iron skillet, I'll always flip it this way first on the same side that it's cooking. Um, and turn it around so that it gets nice and evenly done. Yeah, you have to. Otherwise it gets... Um, it doesn't get cooked evenly all the way around and then you can go ahead and flip it now that's what it should look like on the underside when you flip it um, I'm gonna turn this the burner off right now and I'll show you this is how much um, custard I had left which isn't really a terrible amount you can adjust it for however many people you are cooking for um, if I had maybe three more slices of bread, I would just go ahead and cook them off because I will freeze these individually in sandwich bags, whatever's left over, and the girls will just pop them in the toaster for breakfast during the week this week. So, um, you know, no harm, no foul. We always like to make extra. So I'm going to remove these from the pan and I'll be back and I'll fix you a plate of delicious pumpkin French toast. All right, we're back, and I'm just putting the finishing touches on my serving platter. I'm going to give this a little sprinkle of powdered sugar. Of course, you can do whatever you like. You can leave that out if that's not something that you enjoy. But there's the platter, and I've already fixed you a plate. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a sprinkle as well, because I like powdered sugar on my French toast. And... What is French toast 
without a drizzle of maple syrup. Okay, we're going to have Rick give this a taste. I have to. You have to. There you go. Mm. That is delicious. It's good. With the little nuts on top. Yeah. The, nice. pe the, the pepitas and then there's walnuts inside the bread. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That is so good. It's got nice texture. It's got great uh -huh. flavor. You can taste the pumpkin. Really? All you need is a tiny little bit of that maple syrup and it's just perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Uh -huh. mm. Delicious pumpkin French toast. I hope you give this a try and I hope that you love it. I know that you will. Until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!